Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and make sure you're subscribed. My name is Faraz Jamil, I'm a second year medical student at the University of Cambridge. In this video, I'm going to take you through my personal statement that got me medicine offers from the University of Cambridge, Imperial, King's College and St George's University of London. Right, so let's hop into the introduction then. Seeing my father in the intensive care unit after his heart surgery at the age of 10 left a lasting impression on me and fueled my interest in medicine. Since then, I have been passionate about the human body and disease and have been inspired to become a doctor so that I can make a tangible difference to the lives of patients and their families as doctors had to my father's and mine. So right off the bat, you can say I started off with a personal anecdote. You don't have to do this, but I liked starting it off in a more dramatic, eye-catching way. And I thought it was a nice touch, and also, it is true. That is that is the first instance where I actually felt interested in medicine. Right, now onto paragraph two. My wider reading has enhanced my insight into a career in medicine. For example, I read about the heart-lung machine and the rise and fall of modern medicine, and sought out the opportunity to see it firsthand during open heart surgery at the Royal Brompton Hospital. The intricacy of the surgery was fascinating, and it contrasted with the compassion and empathy required when explaining prognosis to patients. I aspire to emulate this balance in my own career. Researching the science behind this procedure, what really stood out was the role of cardioptegia solution when inducing diastolic arrest. It is fascinating that a simple increase of potassium ion concentrations has such profound effects on our nerve cells. I enjoyed relating what I saw to the molecular science behind it, including sodium ion channels being unable to open, preventing an action potential being generated. At the Royal National Orthopaedic Hospital, I also observed how cases such as spinal realignment are managed by a multidisciplinary team, including nutritionists and physiotherapists as they provide holistic patient care post-surgery, ensuring successful outcomes. So that second paragraph was basically relating my wider reading to one of my work experiences. And this is quite a nice high level thing you can do. It basically shows that you both have an interest in medicine far outside your curricular um, interests. So more than just being interested in the science, you're interested in the wider context of medicine, so looking at social things. And it also shows that you have an actual clinical interest, that you actually find the work of doctors interesting. So that's one thing I'd recommend doing in your personal statement. Try and tie in your reading and your work experience. It really makes your personal statement flow nicely and gives you a lot of insight and also gives evidence of self-reflection, which is quite important in a medical personal statement. Right, on to paragraph three. In addition, I enjoy seeing how different sciences are interlinked into medicine. For instance, studying organic chemistry has led me to researching the chemical structure of aspirin and the importance of its acetyl group in blocking the COX-1 pathway that leads to blood clotting. The way in which medicine combines human biology with organic chemistry was also highlighted to me when I studied the biochemical pathway that dexamethasone affects to reduce the impact of a cytokine storm after a COVID-19 infection. This was essentially a paragraph that I wrote more for Cambridge, basically showing off like some extra research I've done. Right, next paragraph. Although work experience was restricted this summer due to COVID-19, I was able to participate in a clinical research project as part of a team from the Centre for Stem Cells and Regenerative Medicine. We were, in, we were investigating the different single nucleotide polymorphisms that are associated with drug-induced liver injury. This has exposed me to both new scientific concepts and the methodologies of producing databases and interpreting statistical data from case control studies, employing the skills I have developed during my studies of further mathematics. My extended project on performing head transplants has made me look more into the psychological side of medicine, including the risk of a transplant recipient developing severe body dysmorphia. Related to this, there are also dilemmas related to the core principles of medical ethics, including the question of whether this surgery is truly beneficial. In addition, I have furthered my general interest in the brain by following an online Harvard course in the summer. This is again just showing off basically different supercurricular activities I've done and trying to relate that a bit to clinical practice. The EPQ touch I put in was that something I wanted mentioned at my interview because I knew it really well. 
And yeah, that's essentially to try and put points in my personal statement that I'm comfortable discussing at interviews. Right, next paragraph. The level of understanding I developed with one of the children whilst volunteering at a special school last year left quite an impression on me. Despite his speech difficulties, it was rewarding to build a rapport with him, highlighting the importance of communication as a medic. I have also been debating at model United Nations conferences in various countries for the past four years, during which time I have won several awards and organised a conference on globalisation. This gave me the opportunity to further my leadership French language and teamwork skills. Weightlifting has also allowed me to look after my own health and well-being, and I intend to maintain this during my career. This is essentially given kind of more extracurricular type stuff. Again, you don't need to labour the point too much, but I mentioned a couple like outside of school, non-academic stuff I did, just to show that, you know, I have a personality outside of studying and outside of medicine and all of that. Now, the last paragraph, my outro, which for me is my favourite one. Medicine is the only career that allows me to combine my natural passion for science with personal human interactions and I am excited to embark on this journey of lifelong learning, beginning with a medical degree. Now, the main things from this personal statement I would say to take away is if you're applying to Oxbridge, make sure you have a decent amount of science and supercurricular knowledge in there, but make sure you also know it well so that if you're asked about it at interview, you know what to say. Now. Also, I have something to say about the BMAT. It's very important that you have a high BMAT score if you want to get into Oxbridge. Or at least a decent BMAT score, good enough to get you interviewed. So I have something more to say on this. If you're looking for an online BMAT video course, head on over to sigmamed.co.uk. It's an online BMAT video course that teaches you the content you need to know, the exam technique you need to use, and goes over more than 30 worked examples to show you how exam technique is applied in the actual exam. It's made by me and my friend Hamza, both of us study at Cambridge, and it costs only £25, which as far as I can see, is the most affordable BMAT video course on the market, and also, in my humble opinion, the best. So I would recommend any student who is sitting the BMAT next month to go to sigmamed.co.uk and buy the course. It is an investment into your future, and all of the students we've had so far on the course have been extremely satisfied and reported that it has significantly helped them with their BMAT preparation. So head on over to sigmamed.co.uk to buy your course and help you ace the BMAT like a Sigma. I hope you guys found the video useful. I hope you enjoyed my personal statement. You can find the full statement down below in the description of the video. And please make sure you subscribe. There's lots more good and helpful videos coming for the medicine applicants of this year.